this week mainly focusing on improving our skills on basically that will lead us to get good job and also to pass the coding interview as well as the challenge uh, that were given by the recruiters so in order to be ready for that we need to uh, go outside the box and think uh, check the what's available on the online um, resource uh, in that regard we are expecting you to have uh, at least per week two um, submissions for uh, this job such face uh basically i will go through the introduction what you are expected to do and what are the minimum expectations from us and also uh the deadlines about the submissions um, so let me share my screen can you see my screen I hope my screen is visible to everyone. Um, so this week mainly we will focus on as a start on data structure and algorithm with Python. So this hopefully this will be make uh, us ready for uh, machine learning plus data. Anyone who is going with data engineering track or Generative AI can have at least a basic understanding of this uh, data structure and algorithm because it's crucial in every step. Uh, you need to provide an efficient solution for your employer and for your recruiter. So you need to show your ability, your problem understanding. How do you uh, approach a specific problem? Uh, what are the techniques and which best practice did you use? So in order to have overall glance of this data structure and algorithm, so we are prepared this week, uh, tomorrow, um, until tomorrow you have a time to prepare about it, just to read what are the data structure concepts that are necessary, like time complexity is the basic one, uh, Big. how do you measure your uh, code in terms of the, the time complexity, uh, time-based analysis, uh, memory consumption. So you need to, if you are working with big data, so you have the uh, memory issue as well as how you can deal with big data um, in terms of time. So this should be uh, the basic, but that will be a stepping stone for your future in or while you apply this for your coding challenge uh, or for your interview or which have the coding interview uh, so basically we are expect you to learn about overall the data structure and the main core point is how to solve problem uh, uh, how to pass this coding interview or technical interviews if they are so we have questions from multiple platforms you need to go and solve each problems there and also the the real issue is the performance or performance optimization which is in terms of memory in terms of time uh, these are the main things we will focus on this week and after the end of this week, you are expected to have understanding about the time and space complexity and uh, different type of data structure available in Python. How can you efficiently measure your different data structures that, uh, that are available on Python? And basically, you have uh, expected to have understanding about the Python data structure. Uh, whether you work with list, you work with uh, hash maps, link list, any of the array structures. So how can you give an efficient solution to certain problem? So we need you to have that knowledge at this level. 
Uh, this weekly report will be calculated up then with from out of 100, and uh, 40% is for the community growth and support that you will provide to your team. And 60% is the timely submission of the content. So we have uh, a submission on Tuesday and Friday. So you will be expected to timely submit uh, the progress you have made so far in each platform. So we have budgets, the hacker, the wizard, and the export. This will be given according to the tasks that you have carried out. And, uh, uh, and for the hacker, one who solves complex algorithm and focus on the time and space complexity. And for the wizard one, the one who writes for uh, at least um, reliable and maintainable efficient uh, code. And also the third one is uh, the expert one, for the one who focus on the Python language uh, with uh, the help of uh, a to help his teammates and the progress uh, to make progress as fast as possible for the team. So we go together, we work together. Uh, from late submission policy perspective, uh, as you all know, we don't encourage late because now you are um fully capable of delivering something and less submission is not allowed so we will not accept the uh, late submission for this one uh, then the instruction is just basically to understand the fundamental tasks first which is how do you understand time complexity how do you understand the space complexity array as about string linked list and data built in data structure for python like dictionary uh, or any of them uh, that are there in terms of data structure for python then based on that we have this template to register your task uh, what we expect is just to go either to lead code or hacker rank and solve uh, various challenges as much as you want, as much as you can. That means, uh, for the example, we have this one in the hacker rank. <clears throat> so there are so many uh, questions listed out there. Based on that, you can start solving each of them, which is related to algorithm. Then, <clears throat> Once you have done or submitted successfully uh, one solution, then you will have this kind of uh, interface that they will give you. Then your solution has been passed the runtime uh, in second and the time it takes you to solve. How much time did you invest? So you will record this as a screenshot for us on Phoenix. And also you have to write this on this one. Mm. on the sheet that we will provide to you then you can uh, specify your name plus uh, you can add uh, the information that are necessary that means the problem name the dif it's difficulty level uh, the tags the time you spent the runtime analysis whether you have solved or not and then its type, whether it's SQL, data structure, or any of them. So you can add in this way, and the day you have solved that specific problem. So we need to track this in this specific sheet. Uh, so you have to log your um, answers um, according to the sheet instruction. Then from this, we have we will expect minimum requirement just to solve at least uh, as many as possible but you have to go and check read about these concepts the first one is understanding the big o and 
analyzing the the runtime so we have put on some uh, reference here you can go through this reference and also you can add your own reference not limited to this one uh, in order to grasp knowledge in, and to max uh, to maximize your understanding dimension and for task two also this is the other one building data structure in python you have to read and you have to understand these concepts well and digest them well based on that the last thing is the array linked list and working with multi-dimensional array which is the 2d or 3d array so you have the this reference you need to read and understand digest the concept then based on that we have provided uh, around one two three four five six seven questions from lead code and you will get those questions within the respective link just you can check the the links and it will go to the lead code or the hacker rank then you have to code hit here the answer so based on the given test case you can your answer can be analyzed then once you submit that one you will get similar um, feedback whether your answer is correct or not and it will it, does it works for all the cases and you can see your progress there then um, based on that we will expect you to submit this one on Tuesday for the seven questions and for those who are um, who goes who completed this one are expected to go beyond these questions and solve other uh, data structure related questions that are found on lead code or hacker rank so that would be much more appreciated and for someone who exceeded their limit will have uh, a badge reward in at the end of the week so that's what we have for tomorrow or what we expect for you from to do uh, starting from now to tomorrow till tomorrow and if you have any questions maybe let me have them this document will be shared with you and you can read Hey, Rud okay, Rudolf. You can go, Rudolf, unmute. I think you are muted. Okay. So, hello, Emila. Yes. Hello, everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I was late. Uh, I just came around uh, like at eight minutes ago. So basically, I want to know if it is possible to have the video um, after just the meeting. There will be a recording of this meeting, so you can refer to that one. But what's expected from you is for this week is um, to master data structure and algorithm uh, with Python. So that means this will make you ready for uh, either you go for generative AI or data engineering or machine learning track. It's a basic thing to know and to master that one to give an efficient and effective solution to your recruiter's problem. So we are expecting you to solve uh, several questions as possible from the lead code or hacker rank. Uh, the instruction have been put there, but our main focus on this week is just Python data structure, uh, Pigo or uh, the time complexity and the space complexity, plus basic built-in data structure, uh, having understanding about these three topics and having that as a knowledge, just we are expecting you to solve 
seven uh, data structure related questions and you will log that one to your uh, sheet as well as there is a submission on 10x you will uh, submit the screenshot of your progress that shows as you have solved certain problem or not okay good uh the sheet will be provided to us yeah uh, every uh, we will provide you the challenge document then okay. the sheet is also there the, the link to the sheet is there okay good now is it a, a, an individual work or a team a team work yeah it's individual work Okay. Any other question or things that are not clear? Okay, if everything is clear, so we can, we will expect your screenshots on 10x uh, about the problem that you have solved. And also we will expect you to write the, to update the tracker um, based on your name. That's it from my side. 